So that feeling when your alarm goes off at 4.30 in the morning and you uh, stick your leg out of bed and realise that it's freezing cold and uh, all you want to do is just stay in bed and not get up and uh, get changed. Head out to really what is a little bit of the unknown. You've checked your forecast, you've done everything you can, you've checked multiple apps and you get up and you still don't know if you're gonna get an amazing sunrise or whether you're just gonna get there and get nothing. This morning was no different to any other morning. I, uh, I got up, I had a look out the window and um, saw that it was quite cloudy. And I did toy with the idea of just getting back into bed and uh, go back to sleep. But I'm really glad that I got up and got on the road because uh, you'll be able to see from the footage here that you can, in the distance, there's the sunrise and the gaps in the clouds. I just knew that it was going to be something amazing this morning. And it definitely didn't disappoint. As soon as I got there, it just looked amazing and it was worth the effort of getting out of bed. Okay, so morning folks. Um, join me today from Bamborough Castle um, on the Northumberland coastline. And as you could probably see, um, I'll just tilt this around the right way, that is. Over here, this is beautiful. Had this a uh, couple of mornings ago uh, when I went to um, Dunstanborough Castle. Um, anyway, I've only got um, uh, this DJI uh, gimbal at the moment so I haven't got a second tripod to put this on so I'm going to hold this up but anyway 
as usual, um, I've got my Intrepid 4x5 set up with the iDay 6x17 back doing the pano. Um, I've got a 135mm um, lens on the front, it's a Fuji lens. I've also got it set up at f32. Um, just going to take a metre reading of this in a minute and I hopefully you take this shot. Now, what interests me about this shot is I've looked, um, as you can see, there's some rocks here in the foreground. None of this has actually even been my shot. Uh, behind me, there is loads of rocks um, and I did toy about going over there and shooting, um, but actually I like the simplicity of just the, the nothingness over there and the reflection in the, in the, in the water there. And I just like this, you know, this scene here, so simple. I've got the castle in, and over here, there's, just, there's an island. I took that the right way, but no. There's an island over here, uh, which is also in, in, the, uh, in the shot as well. So this is what I'm gonna go for. Um, I haven't metered it yet, so we'll see what we're gonna get, but I've got XR100 in here, um, and we'll see how we get on. So hopefully, if the shot comes out, it'll, uh, well, even if it doesn't, I'll show you what it is anyway, because uh, I believe in showing failure as well as, um, as well as the good stuff, so. I'll get on and take this shot and um, yeah, hopefully this comes out. Okay then folks, so I've just taken a meeting read of this. We're at four seconds, uh, F32, so with a bit of reciprocity failure for the Ektar 100, that comes out at six seconds. So I'm just gonna fire a test shot, um, just to make sure the shutter's working. Which it is, just gonna put that on full. Another test shot. That's working fine. Right, so we're going to take the slide out. Pop the shutter. Let's put that over here. Here we go. First shot done. Roll on to the next one, which on here is shot number three. You only get four shots in this uh, shoot six by 17. So on the back here, it's quite good because it tells you what um, what frames to line up. So six by 17 is, is uh, frame one, frame three, frame five, frame seven, and then you're done basically. So I have only got, because uh, we've come to the end of our holiday now, I've literally only got this. Uh, hectare and then I've got uh, one roll of um, Ilford Super 200 black and white film so I'm going to shoot these uh, now as you can see it's a beautiful morning all that that glow is just beautiful uh, so I'm going to shoot these and then um, yeah that'll be me done for, uh, for a film on this anyway I have got some black and white uh, 4x5 as well, so I might shoot a couple of rolls of that. I might go into this rock uh, rock formations behind me and shoot some of that um, after I've got some of this beautiful morning sunlight. So, yeah, I'm going to get on and I'm going to carry on shooting this until I uh, well, I'll take my last three rolls anyway. So, I'll show you all the pictures that come off of this roll. Um, like I say, this is actually the start of the process, obviously, coming out here, getting the right exposure um, and obviously making sure that you set up right focus all the rest of it. Once you've done that, then it's the developing stage uh, to make sure you get that right. And once you've done that, it's in scanning. Um, so there is a bit more to do after we've uh, after we've, we've shot with this. So yeah, but what a beautiful morning yet again. Um, Northumberland doesn't fail to deliver at all. So I'm going to carry on, take these shots. Um, I'll see you guys soon. So as you can probably see behind me, the sun is literally just poked through that bit of cloud. There's only a tiny gap, it's a tiny gap, but it's just given me enough illumination on the castle itself to take my last shot. So that is it. That is four rolls of Ektar 100 done. So I'm going to put the black and white in now and I'm going to shoot um, with the black and white and that'll be my 120 film ton for the holiday, unfortunately. Um, and then I've got my six sheets of four by five. So I'm going to... Uh, have a go for them and see how we get on. But for the moment, that light on that castle is absolutely beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, again, I couldn't really ask for a better morning, to be fair. So uh, probably going to get drone up as well, take some shots with that. In fact, I might do that next. And uh, yeah, just going to enjoy this, uh, 
this beautiful sunrise that but yeah absolutely beautiful <laughs> Okay, so I've changed positions. Um, I've taken a couple of shots from my uh, black and white, which is the uh, Ilford uh, Super 400. I think I said 200 earlier, it's not 400 speed. I'm shooting at 400. Um, and I then come, went up onto the sand dunes to have a look for a composition up there, but I just couldn't make composition out of all of the mess that was there. I'm sure there is plenty, but I just couldn't do it. And I just saw out in the turn round, and just behind me, this is uh, Holy Island over here, and there's a castle, that's it there, sat on that, that rock there. And uh, just happened to be like bathed in sunlight. Now it's quite a fair distance away from here. Um, so this this shot might not work. I've put my 250mm lens on, uh, which is the longest reach I've got. Um, and again, I've got literally two shots left in this, of the uh, Super 400 black and white so I'm just waiting for some um, sunlight to hit that again and then I'm going to take two shots here like I said it might work it might not um, we'll see what it comes out like but uh, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll post the results anyway hopefully they come out and hopefully there's a decent shot so um, I've not seen it yet but uh, you'll just about see it in a second so hopefully they come out all right yeah that shot really didn't work it was all completely wrong it looked great on the day from the eye it looks really really nice but i think that's all it was at the end of the day it was the wrong camera and the reason why i say it was the wrong camera is the intrepid you can only uh, you know the longest lens you can use on that intrepid board as it is on your four by five is 300 mil and even with that i was used i used a 250 to take that shot but even with 300 mil you'd have got nowhere near um it's just way too far off in the distance um, just didn't work at all. Like I say, on the day, it was beautiful light hitting the island. It looked really nice, but when the shot, when I looked at the shot afterwards, it was just awful. So apologies for the scratch and all the dust all over the uh, the picture. I just didn't see the point in spending hours doing dust and scratch removal on it on a you know a picture that I'm never going to use. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the fact that I was willing to show my failures as well as shots that I'm really happy with. So hopefully the next shot you'll see on screen uh, in a minute you'll like a lot better it's one of my favorites from uh, um from the trip to be honest with you and it was just literally i i was fixated on on taking the island shot as only when i turned around and saw the uh, the lighthouse behind me i thought yeah that is a lot better image so hope you enjoy that image and the rest of the video and i'll see you in a bit okay hopefully the order is right right so this is my last shot i've come away from the shot that was um just over there I've taken one of that, but then I've just turned around and I just saw this, and now the sun's gone in. I've got this lighthouse here, and then I've got these um, sort of islands out in the sea there. I've got uh, lighters, a couple of lighthouses, and whatever else on them. So I thought this was quite a nice shot, especially now that the sun's gone away. Um, I should be able to capture that uh, quite easily now on, um, on my black and white. So I'm going to take this shot, and uh, yeah, this is my last shot now, so uh, hopefully this comes out. And I'll put it up on the screen in a minute, even if it doesn't, I'll put it up on the screen anyway, and you can see, uh, you see what it looks like. So hopefully it comes out.